It's very good. I really am looking forward to, to seeing this relationship develop. I don't know. I, I just got that feeling. Listen, man. Me thinking you take me to the dance and see me all dressed up and realize you actually have feelings for me, no one base because you do, but you're just too stupid to know it. By the time you stood up for yourself, Emma. He's gonna kill her? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here back with another reaction to Lost. Season 4 is on its way and I'm all here ready to go, ready to jump in, man. It has been a journey so far and lots of things is popping up <laughs> the situation. Um, John is trying to figure out what's going on. They can't contact the ship all sorts of stuff right so um don't want to jump into it too much here in the intro um but i do want to talk about a situation with with ben and the possibility of him having a shit ton of money <laughs> like i mean i wonder if they took over the infrastructure of dharma I mean, they did kill all the Dharma people that was on the island, but did they like get access to all the money that was poured into the project and everything was all of that poor, you know what I'm saying? And they just know that this dude has a shit ton of money to do what he's doing. Cause I mean, it wouldn't be so far fetched actually to think about it, to be honest, it wouldn't be so far fetched. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you know where this goes especially that part of the storyline i know in my last review for the last um for the last episode i spent a lot of time talking about kate because that's who this the episode was centered around um but i didn't really touch on those other aspects um you know the interaction between ben and miles and you know you know um, i thought about kate for the most part <laughs> because the episode was about her i talked about that stuff and what I was thinking about that. But either way, we're going to jump into the next episode. If you guys want to see more episodes of Lost, you want to watch ahead. By the time you guys are seeing this on YouTube, I'm pretty sure that we are done with the show on Patreon. So if you want to watch ahead, go check out the Patreon. Link is down in the description. Let's jump into the reaction, and I will see you guys right after for the review. Let's go. Cheat sheet, where they drew for me. You don't know where your boat is? I know where it is. Why are you flying directly into the Thunderhead? Why don't you just sit back and let me do my job, huh? You told Charlie she didn't know about this boat, correct? Aye. What do you expect to find when you get there? Answers. Sorry, sir. I was, I was having a dream, sir. You were having a dream, were you? In the yard, four minutes. And you can thank Private Hume for having to do it in double time. Move! One, two, three, three, three. I hope your dream was worth this, mate. Sorry, pal. It's just, I never had a dream that was so vivid. It was, it was like I was actually there. We're almost through it. It's actually daylight. What are you doing? Are you alright? Oh, you know my name! What 
is a different person? Bruh. No, freaky Friday shit. It seems like it's it is Desmond, but he didn't. All right. He forgot. They who took he is? off a day ago. Why haven't we heard from? Him? What makes you think I know anything? Because you're not worried. Excuse me. Your boat's forty miles off the coast. It should have taken him what, twenty minutes to get there. So why aren't you worried? Maybe we should just just tell him. Tell us what. Dan. Let's not confuse anyone. Your perception. Mm -hmm of how long your friends have been gone. It's not necessarily how long they've actually been gone. It'll be fine. As long as Frank flew on the bearings that I gave him, if he stayed on it, it, it'll be fine. And what if he didn't? 2,000 feet, sit down. What am I doing here? What the hell's going on? Nothing's wrong with this. How do you know my name? All the way around I'm trying. You let go of me. Survivors of 815. So you brought them here. What the hell were you thinking? Friend, I don't know you. I don't know you. When did he yes. start doing this? He was fine when we took off. When we hit some weather, hey, Faraday told me as long as I stayed on the back dirt. We're going to take your buddy down to the sick bay, OK? I'm going with him. Let a doctor look at him first, then you can come down. You got my word on that, OK? Not when your face looks like that while you see me. I don't know these people. Oh, no, no. I don't know these people. I understand. No, but this is wrong. What happened I'm to not him? I'm supposed to be here. 20. 21. 22. Yeah. 23. Here, what? Explode. On your face. Rock face. Take your of guys. Go, 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 go. This morning, when I was in the yard, doing crunches I left I was on a boat and then then I was back here right right where I started well, hey, how do you not you remember who you are there though is, I'm telling you the truth man Does anyone you recognize Penny Penny was in the photo what oh it is where are you going Thanks for this morning, you. Watch it. Watch your step. Take it easy. I'm not here. This, this, this isn't happening. Then you just relax, okay? We're gonna go get the doc, and he's gonna want to ask you some questions uh, to help us sort all this out. What do you mean sort out? Hey. hey. To you too, isn't it? I don't know what's going on, bro. What's happening to Desmond? Your friends know what's wrong with him. Well, if they do, they're not sharing it with me. Then perhaps we'll share how we took off at dusk and landed in the middle of the day. I don't know what's happening to your buddy, all right? But you gotta trust me when I tell you this. I am trying to help you. You want to help me? Give me your phone. Don't go trying to call Baghdad. Those phones can only call each other. Something happened during the flight. And now Desmond's in their sick bay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He doesn't appear to recognize me or know where he is. Side effects? Has he recently been exposed to high levels of radiation? Or like yeah. magnetism? Yeah, when the hatch imploded. Okay. So what? Is this amnesia? No, this is not amnesia. Hey, can you hear me? Are you all right? Hello? See, Ray? I'm not crazy. It's happening to him too, Ray. Once we start heading to that island again. Would you please step aside? No, no, Ray, no. I need you to relax from They look alike, no. though, but it's not. And how are you feeling? What the bloody hell is going on? I understand you're disoriented. You're not going to stick me with that, brother. I don't want to stick you with anything. 
It's okay, I just want to check your eyes. What's your name? Desmond. Desmond. Uh, Penny, listen, I'm, uh, I'm in trouble. And, and, uh, I, think, I think something's happening to me. I've got, I've got two days leave starting tonight. Yeah, I know this dude did not join the army after he left Penny. No, I don't bother showing up at the flat because I've moved. Moved? Where? It doesn't matter. Did you just experience something, Desmond? Sorry, Doc, but I got Faraday calling from the island. He needs to talk to this guy. No, guy. Faraday's not talking to my patient. Now he's not your patient. Hey! Give Desmond the phone. Desmond, Desmond, my name is Daniel Faraday. We met yesterday before you took off, but I'm guessing you don't remember that. What year you think it is? What do you mean, what year do I think? It's 1996. Where are you? Um, I mean, I'm in some kind of sick bay. No, 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 not right now, Desmond. Where are you supposed to be? Where are you in 1996? Uh, I'm a Camp Miller. It's a uh, Royal Scots Regiment. It's... I need you to get on a train. Get on a train and go to Oxford. Oxford University, Queen's College Physics Department, all right? What? What? Because I need you to find me. Bruh. I'm out. <laughs> well, it's unpredictable. It's a random effect. Sometimes the displacement's only a couple of hours. Sometimes it's years. Wait, wait, wait. This has happened before. Desmond, listen. When you find me at Queen's College, I need you to tell me to set the device to 2.342. What? All right, you got it? 2.342. And one more thing, Desmond. If the numbers don't convince me, I need you to tell me that you know about Eloise. He's crazy. He's so crazy. Desmond, tell me that you know about Eloise. 2.342, 11 hertz. Sorry, are, are you Daniel Faraday? You are? Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a Desmond Human. I was told I could find you here. In the future, yes. Uh, I, I spoke to you there. You, uh, you told me to come here to, to Oxford to, to find you. You, you. you said you'd help me. I'm going to put you through the headache of time traveling, don't you? You know what I mean? It just seems a little... Unnecessary. And don't you think my esteemed colleagues could have come up with something just a little more believable? Do uh, you know about it, Louise? What prank is that? Um, two point three four two, and and make sure it oscillates at eleven. You, you were gonna tell me who told you those numbers? You did. This, this is ridiculous. I you know think? about Eloise. At least he remembered. What? What is that. all this? This is where I do the things Oxford frowns upon. This, this is changing the future. You can't change the future. What's that for? Radiation. Do I get one? You don't need one. This, this is Eloise. <sighs> Eloise is a rat. If the numbers you gave me are correct, what this will do is unstick it always in time, just like you. There she is. Okay, here goes everything. It worked! This is incredible. I'm sorry, how is a rat running through a bloody maze so incredible? What is incredible? is I just finished the maze this morning. I'm not going to teach her how to run it until an hour from now. So you, you sent her to the future? No, no, no. Her consciousness, her mind. I don't know why you sent me here. All I know about you is you, you end up on some bloody island. An island? What island? Where, why would I go to an island? Desmond, give me the phone. Did the Faraday talk to him? He said he could help. Faraday can't even help himself. Outside now, the captain wants to talk to you. And I want to talk to your captain. They know something. Back, back where? The island? He said he could help. He said he, he 
Tell me what I needed to do. Desmond, Desmond, can you please explain to me? Desmond? You're Desmond? I'm the communications officer. And every so often, I get this flashing light on my console. An incoming call. We were under strict orders never to answer it. Those calls came from your girlfriend. Penelope Widmore. What? What happened? Oh, you're back. And you're uh, out on the 75 minutes. I take it you were you were in the future again? Aye. For how long? I don't know. Five minutes. Each time your consciousness jumps, it gets harder and harder to jump back. I wouldn't be careful crossing the street if I were you. Is this dead? What happened to her? She died. Yeah, I can see that. How? Rain down here, some probably. I don't know. I'm gonna do an autopsy later. Is that gonna happen to me? If this keeps happening, am I gonna die? I don't know. I can imagine the stress that puts on the I mind. Think uh, that if. Brain. Short circuited. She eventually. She couldn't tell which was which. She had no anchor. <laughs> what do you mean, anchor? Something familiar in both times. Every equation needs stability, something known. It's called a constant. Desmond, you have no constant. It's something that you really, really care about. That also exists back here. It's in 1996. The picture, the picture. Constant. Can it be a person? Can it be a person? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a fit yet? But you'd have to make some kind of contact. Uh, who are you calling? I call him that bloody constant. Oh no, she disconnected her number. She was moving. Oh. You okay? This is crazy. I don't know you, but but you seem to know me, so so if you and me are friends, then I need your help. I need to call Penny now. Whoa! Where's the radio room? It's one deck up. I'll take you there. Come on. Looks like you guys have a a friend on this boat. Ah, maybe he's Ben. Ben spy. It's clear. Cause he's jumping too. He might be having. <laughs> right back here again. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. I just need to speak to that gentleman. I'm sorry. Just for a moment, okay. Sold for three hundred. Can I have a word? I'm sorry, Mr. Whitmore. No, that's it's fine. Your word. Let's have it. I need to get in touch with Penny. There was a time when if you'd have asked her to marry you, I'm certain she'd have said yes. Fortunately, you have cowardice one out in the stead. I take it you've had second thoughts. Here's her address. I'll let her tell you herself. No, it's getting harder. It starts happening faster too. Who did this? You got me. It's got to be got Ben's spy. I feel so. Wake up. Wake up. You're going to come back. You're going to come back. Desmond, you know the number. He's dead. No. Well, you better remember it. It's 2004. I didn't realize it was almost Christmas. It's been... Crap. Ah, if this if he doesn't find his constant quickly, this he's the same thing gonna happen to him. The same thing is gonna happen to me. You need to get a get a move on, bro. Desmond? What are you doing here? I had to. Hey ben, please, mate. I just, I just need to get your new phone number, okay? Why would I give you that? Because I, I made a huge mistake. I, I should never have broken up with you. And I, uh. and, and, and I know I know that now, and, I, and I'm sorry. And oh, I need you to listen to me. And look, I, I know it's going to sound ridiculous, but please, Ben. I need you to listen to me. I know this doesn't make any sense because... 
doesn't make any sense to me. But eight years from now, I, I need to call you, and I can't call you if I don't have your number. Any part of you that still believes in us, just... What's to say you wouldn't call me tonight or tomorrow? I won't call for eight years. I promise. Please, Ben. That's crazy. If I give this... you the number, will you leave? Seven nine four six. Oh eight nine three. You have to keep that number. You can't change just that number. Just get out! Get out! Just, just, just remember, December the 24th, 2004. Look, Ben, if, if you still care about me, you have to answer. I'm not crazy, Penny. You have to believe me! The batch is done, but I don't know how long the battery will last. I hope she's there. I hope so, too. Damn it, she's not gonna answer, bro. You went through all this? Penny, Penny, answer. You answer, Penny. I've, Some I've coordinates might be nice. Oh my God, Penny, is that really you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's me. I've been looking for you for the past three years. I know about the island. I've been researching. <laughs> I spoke to your friend Charlie, that's when I knew you were still alive. Yes, I'm here. I'm still here. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, that's better. I love you, Penny. I've always loved you. It's love stories I've I ever watched you. in a TV show. I around, I'll find you, Des. I promise. No matter what. I'll come back to you. I won't give It was enough. So I'm wondering if now he's going to be able to do that at will. That would be cool. <laughs> to be able to travel back in time at will through your mind. Maybe something changed in his book too. So maybe... Did Nan travel to the future? Do you think that's what's happening? Like he's traveling to the future as well. Or maybe he hasn't traveled to the future yet. It's like, if anything happens, Hey, yo, this is crazy, bro. Let's talk about it. So I have to stop to talk about this. Cause in some ways I, I love a good love story. You know what I mean? I love a good love story. It always, you know, gets me going, right? It always gets me going to the point of, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes eyes get a little watery sometimes um, just to see their, their relationship and how disconnected and connected at the same time that Desmond and and Penelope is it's really um, a great way to tell a love story because this is established back in season two I believe because um, we didn't meet Desmond until season two um, and this love story is just essentially took over the story it's the only love story that I care about like you know what i'm saying like it's the only love story that i actually care about in 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 the plot at all right um the other love stories um not necessarily that they're all over the place i don't really care for them that much you know what i'm saying i you know sawyer kate kate jack you know what i'm saying jack juliet like i'm rooting for them but the connection the love you know what i'm saying between desmond and penelope is just great on all sides there's no mistake there's no mistaking what 
you know what I'm saying, how they feel about each other. That has been very obvious since the first time we got introduced to them. So sorry that he felt the way he did that he broke it off with her. But after all these years, she said that she's been searching for him for three years. And as you find out that he's really alive, she actually believed that she was going to get that call eight years later. That is some seriously, you know what I'm saying, over time, just unbelievable believing in somebody that you care about. And just the way how they set it up, the way how they write these two characters is actually brilliant. Now, why is this happening to Desmond? That is a huge question. Like, why are these things happening to him? He could see the past. No, he could see the future before. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if the... I don't know if the the um, the premonitions are still happening because now that Charlie is quote unquote dead, <laughs> right? I don't know if the premonitions are still happening, but now because of him going through this storm above the island, he can't remember, couldn't remember who he is. And he was like pretty much time travel to the past and it's it's actually a brilliant way that they wrote this because the whole equation thing you know what i'm saying that all equation needs a constant um you know what i'm saying because everything else is just variables and that is that is mathematics you know what i'm saying that's that's algebra <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know what i mean so to bring it back to that and to actually connect all of that stuff was actually brilliant by the writers. I love how they did that. That was pretty cool. Um, that was probably the first time that I've ever watched that. And I, I, I'm a, I'm a time travel um, connoisseur, if you will. I love things about time travel. I spoke about this in the past. Like I love watching TV shows that dive into time traveling and stuff like that, whether it's goofy or whether it's super serious whatever the tone is i just like time travel mind you i've never seen the back to back to the future films which is something that i'm planning to dive into at some point on my channel at some point i'm gonna watch those movies um to see if they're any good i'm not a huge michael j fox fan that's why i've probably never seen those movies but i know they're like american classic movies i've just never actually took the time to actually sit down and watch back to the future which is like the most I would say it's the most popular time travel movie, TV series, everything out of anything that when you talk about time travel, people always refer back to the future. You know what I'm saying? If you and the thing about it is that I've seen probably every other one except back to the future. So it's weird, right? It's weird for me. Um, so, yeah, man, it was actually I've never seen it done like this. And I'm liking it because it's not, it's not an, like a, the show is not going in the direction of time travel. It's just a very, not a very, not a small aspect of it, but it's not too significant where it takes over the rest of what's going on. You get what I'm saying? Because we're feeling as the audience like we're in a time chamber you know what i'm saying like we're constantly traveling to the future and to the past and all this other stuff that's how we feel as the audience right because we're seeing you know what could possibly happen in the future we're seeing the future from you know jack's you know the the the, the um from the, the the fast forward stuff that we're seeing to see them off the island, you know, and the, the surviving eight or the whatever they call themselves, <laughs> right? And they're supposed to be heroes. Kate is a hero. And I'm like, all right, I guess that happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, we don't know exactly what happened. So we're kind of stuck in this weird situation as the audience, is, at, at least for me as I'm watching and seeing all of these things transpire. And I'm just like, wow, the way they're writing the show is actually very brilliant and they are pulling it off and they are making me super excited and, and intrigued and to see how this story ends. Um, 
and what is going to be the resolution of all of this. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, so this was mainly, I'm wondering how this is going to play into things that comes up later, of course, especially with Dan, him becoming a very key character uh, moving forward, it seems, because he seems to know what is happening. He was a physics professor at Oxford. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? He's into time travel and stuff like that. So it's like, if anything should ever happen to him, he knows who his constant should be. So, I don't know if he's actually time traveled already or, you know what I'm saying, or he's just here now. So, we don't know exactly what happened, but definitely, definitely so interesting so interesting man so interesting this has been man lost it's a great show man it's a great show and it's definitely going to deserve a spot in my top 10 i'm not even i'm not even and i'm calling it right now and if they end up um not ruining the ending for this show i'm definitely definitely going to put this in my top 10 tv shows of all time man i have a really stop <laughs> i have a really strong top 10 man like it's tough for shows to crack my top 10 because when we're talking about overall what a show is and what it what it can do you know what i'm saying and and when everything come together music writing acting everything come together it has to be real tight really tight um just brilliant just brilliant man love it anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in shout out man one of the best love stories i've seen in a tv show hands down between desmond and penny man definitely tell me otherwise <laughs> tell me otherwise <laughs> in the comment section if you have other examples as well anyways i'll see you guys next time leave a like leave a comment i'm out Peace.